I don't know how to play. I don't, I don't back grab and it and start, you know, doing it. But I, it's like I'm this. No, we have a weird setup no. going on today, and I'm not leaving the seat. My, my feet are like up on the table today. It's an interesting day here. <laughs> yeah, the real problem is that this game has to be played with mouse and keyboard, which creates a unique situation when you're sitting in like stools that like are I high. sit on stool all the yeah. time. Oh, it's... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. That's weird. That's weird. Uh, Gwen is not here today in the chat. I'm sorry. You're stuck with me. I have got the computer today. That's right. Uh, Gwen is still recovering a little bit. Um, she had an incident involving the baboon mask and one of her eyeballs. And she's doing fine. She had to go see the doctor again today. Um, but she is doing fine. And she's actually out of town catching up with some friends that she was supposed to see a week ago back when she first sustained this baboon-related injury. So... We are wishing her well. We're hoping she has a good, relaxing weekend that she continues to heal as well as she has been doing. Um, we're very sorry <laughs> that we caused her this agony and pain just because we had to feature a baboon in this musical. But as you might find out, we, we didn't know baboons played such an important part of Trombone Champ until we did, and there was no choice. We had to include a baboon, and it had to apparently mess with her eyeball. So, Well, in case you also didn't know, we released the Trombone Champ musical yeah, today what? on the main channel. That's why we're playing this game here we are. for you today, That's because right. we made a musical about it. And that, I don't think there's much else to say. It's hilarious. It's wacky fun. You should watch it if you haven't. If you have seen it, you should go see it again. But anyway, we've got... Multiple moderators in the chat, I believe. We've got Nefanjo and Melktonio. I believe They're here well. to uh, help keep the peace, keep you in line. The answer King's questions peace. for you. Uh, redirect questions to us, maybe, that we'll try to answer while we're not busy sure. tooting and turding. That's what I do uh, best. But yeah. I've been practicing. There's also a TikTok that we haven't got a chance to uh, finish editing, but we all took a turn with the trombone uh. to see how well we could toot. And, uh, not well. Not well. The answer is no. none of us could do well. So we're terrible tutors. What can you say? Um, before we get too far into the gaming today, we do have some Patreon people we'd like to say thank you to. Um, our Patreon sponsors right. make it possible to afford baboon masks and trombones and things like that. So here we go. How many are we reading We've today? We've got Sammy Fist. Sammy this. <laughs> I feel like it has to be a wah, wah, wah. Anthony Mushro. <laughs> uh, OS Riddle. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Jillian Che. <laughs> uh, Not as good. One, one more, one more. Who, who we got? Who we got? Jake Owens. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all for joining us today, and thank you especially to those Patreon people that make it possible for us to be making new musicals. Um, which we try to do every month, but we did let January kind of get away from us. Uh, we are just coming back from the holidays. Um, we are expecting to have another musical for you for March, and one for April, and so forth and so forth. We try to keep up with things. We also have a meme we have to share today. That's right. We've got a yes, lovely meme We have several right memes, here. but we're only going to share one. We're not going to plague you guys with too many memes. This is here. from our Random Encounters subreddit. Uh, it's from Cats and Books Are Life, actually. Who I thought this one was very relatable because I was finding a little tiny bit of time this week to work on FNAF the Musical again. And uh, people actually, like, we this is a joke. We, we all make this joke of, like, people are so impatient. They all want to know about FNAF the Musical. Where is it? When is it coming? People have actually been really respectful. And, like, it's been, like, two years. It's been forever. And yet they've been super cool about just giving us the time to get it right. So um, I appreciate the meme. It, it is like a running gag that, like, it's the one thing everybody's waiting on. Uh, but I'm also happy to report that people have been really good about not harassing me too much uh, to get it done sooner. So thank you. Thank you, Kat, for uh, pointing that one out for us all. <laughs> uh -huh. Also, I see all these super chats coming in about Gwen and stuff. It's, yes, people yeah, are people super are chatting active. us. That's something you can choose to do They're if you want. It's just too. like a little tip jar. Uh, you don't get anything special from it other than helping your pals at Random Encounters out. What? People would do such a thing? I know, right? I love being helped out. <clears throat> all right, I think it's time yeah, thank to you get all. to You're the tromboning. The tromboning is what uh, the tromboning. <laughs> That's a thing. Uh, would you go watch a horror, horror so movie called The Tromboning? Let's bring this up and this up. Uh -huh. There we are. There we go. All Let's right. turn our volume on so we can hear. Hopefully this isn't too quiet or too loud. Uh, we're going to start a new game. I'm pretty sure that everybody in the chat is more familiar with this game than we are. Uh, so I'm just here to enjoy the rhythm game. And I hear there's <laughs> secret lore, but I'm here. I don't think we're going to be discovering too I'm much of it. I'm here for the tooting and the turning. So it comes to well, pass. you're getting some of the lore anyway. <laughs> Ages after the twin vessels were forged, twin vessels. a new soul appears. Oh my oh. goodness, is it? Is it Brave us? Brave soul. 
One day you will stand before two baboons. Ooh, two of them. We only had one in our musical. It's because we one didn't have enough people. One day you will rend the baboons. very fabric that binds this. This band. is what they tell you when you join band. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, yeah, be rewards. You're gonna get Until some credit for this, but also. Day comes, you must toot. You must I toot. Must toot, toot your trombone, you brave soul. <laughs> and you may yet become your instrument of torture the right trombone. Here. The trombone. Champ. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that okay, so that I'm pretty sure is the final boss. Scary. Sorry, I spoilers? Push my Choose play to play them in game. Alright. So the, on the surface this looks like just a silly right. fun little game. Let us know if the volume's too loud or too low. I'll have to get up and fix it. I can see play. You Choose go. your tromboner. You only have one option today. This guy. Uh, you have four, I guess, options oh. about him. There you go. Okay. So whatever one looks or acts like you. This one probably looks the most like sure. me, I guess. What's Jubal in the studio? What is it? Oh, uh, Matilda Tidwell Brooks asked, Question! In the musical that came out today, was uh, the video, was that a video or was Matt, Pat, and Nate actually on Zoom with you guys? <laughs> Uh, yeah, those clips actually should look familiar for anybody who watched the, uh, the RE Awards in past years. We pulled those actually from their acceptance spe speeches. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Yes. Use the mouse button or most keyboard keys to toot. I'm told the volume is perfect, by the way. Easy play, well, perfect you combos. Thank you for your me here. Watch your breath, Nader. Huh? Hello, too long. Run out of breath. Uh -huh. Have fun. Uh, create succulent music you'll soon. Excellent. Succulent music. Right, well, I don't have the suck. keyboard, so I'm going to just use the mouse. Uh, that it's... Yeah. All right. Here you go. Nate's first debut. Oh, beautiful. You're actually a lot better for this than the actual trombone. Uh, it's in verse, which is good. Oh. So like up is down. Uh huh. Now I have to change that in the settings. <laughs> Why would you even start like that? Is it because closer is yeah. higher and out is lower? But they want you to go like low. No matter how much you practice, it's not actually getting better. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, Ivy, double or seven, wants to know. Did Gwen actually cut her hair? F, D, C, B, A? That was an A. A. I earned wow. 327 toots. That's a lot of toots. Right, track select. Maybe. I don't actually know. What's the max tooted you can acquire? All right, we warmed up. Uh, is this back? This is back. Let's... I'm gonna answer this question really quick. Back. Uh, so, Gwen did cut hair, but it was not her hair. She actually got little extensions that match her hair color and clipped them in. I feel like she got them for Melodia, maybe, from our Sky Musical, or some other project that we had hanging around, and she had this great idea. She was like, I can go put some of those extensions in, and I can hold my head a certain way and I can snip those babies right off and it's gonna look like it matches my hair and it's gonna like feel like it's my hair but it's not my hair it's actually fake hair I clipped in and just be able to cut off We're so, gonna play a, not her a, actual hair. A, a great song of there are between two to four spiders living inside the average trauma between two and four so at least two. All right, so we're stupid. gonna take you out to the ball game. Me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Why do some I don't care if I ever get back my favorite. <laughs> I don't know this part. There's no words to it, so. I like how they got these balls over the baseball. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, are these actually. Do they know they're gonna show up in a video game like one day? 
but now they're famous. They were probably more famous back then, actually. Uh, oh man, we're back again. I'm not gonna sing this part. I already, I already did the mic worst. Question from Jelly Ranger. So I'm trying to appreciate your. I just can't. I can't appreciate. <laughs> violent scene and the most hardest scene. Great job, Nate. Great job. You're Great welcome. Job. You're welcome. Solid yeah. No. Oh, Not even. So close. Not so even. Close. Couldn't get there. I tried. The most violent scene and the hardest scene. Well, I think the most violent scene was you slapping the baboon. Probably. I think slapping the baboon was probably the most violent scene. Um, actually, a lot of scenes with the baboon were hard, though, because you find yourself crouching and standing weird, and the mask has very little breathing in it. So you get hot, it's claustrophobic, you don't have much visibility, you're trying to, like, stand in weird angles and, like, hold a trumpet and, like, play in time and dance around, and you also have very restricted air. So I think everybody who put it on died a little inside being like, Is the shot done? Can I stand back up? <laughs> you're, you're crouching a funny way. Probably my favorite. Your guy is so feeling it. Maybe we should have Nate dress like that. Because it's like black shorts, black pants, and black tights. So, I was reading uh, when I was trying to figure out whether this game had controller support. It doesn't. But, it, it, okay, so it sort of does. It has a mode where people have actually, it sounds like, made like 3D printed or something. Yeah, I remember reading that uh, the developer wanted to put this into arcades and knew that like a trombone controller would probably get ripped off or smashed against things or stolen. Uh, and so it was a very low likelihood that they could have been funding to be like, this is great. This is great. Oh, it is perfect though. It's so tiring. It. So yeah, not an arcade like game still. No, no. Oh, I thought you'd get up to the A. I thought you could do it. You want to go one more? I can go one more. And I'll switch with you. Uh, there's a question from Vupao44. It's actually about FNAF movie casting. Now, what are our thoughts on the FNAF movie casting? Uh, uh, I'm just reading this weird trombone thing. Uh, I, I mean, I only know there's like a couple people. Um, Matthew Lillard. <laughs> Don't have, no, I don't like it. You're thinking of the uh, Hungarian dance, right? Which is the... Uh, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a lot of thoughts about being happy doing that to be honest. My only goal at this point, sadly, is to finish our FNAF, FNAF movie before the actual FNAF movie. And yeah, at this point I'm just gonna call it a movie, because like we all know we're gonna link them all together at the end into like a full-on thing. So even though they've just been like 10 minute episodes or whatever, we're gonna make them into something when it's done. Uh, and have a people watch it, and then watch the old like OG parties go back to back, and be like, I don't know, like the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, except hopefully the first one's good enough. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> you know, the Hobbit has a legacy, it's not a big one. But yeah, uh, I think it'd be interesting if they get like cameras from like some of the YouTube people. I think that'd be great. I think a lot of uh, fans would appreciate it. Uh, and I'm not speaking of myself. I know I I'm out of the run. I'm not gonna ask anyone. To do that. So if that's a question you have, it's not gonna happen. Um, for people like Mark, maybe, maybe Matt would be great. I could endorse him as phone guy. Um, David King, you know, if they just need a voice, that'd be good. Uh, or you can just play. <laughs> the two of you do get that play. Beautiful work, my friend. Terrible. Beautiful work. Yeah. 
I think it'd be fun. Jocko would be a, a great choice, I think. He's done a lot of, like, incredible FNAF work over the years. Ooh. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I think, you'll oh. put that up. Oh, sure. Don't mind us. And we'll slide <laughs> our little rig right. over here. I can't think. There we go. All right. And then, uh, so literally all you need is the mouse. Okay. Uh, you already played these yeah. ones, so I'm on to Sakura. Sakura. I don't know what this one sounds like, actually. Let's play it. Oh, boy. There are more trombones on Earth than there are humans. Uh, dubious fact. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Oops. Sounds like they're having trouble hearing us talk. Trombone is playing. Well, why would you want to hear us talk with this beautiful trombone playing? Not great. This is a pretty easy one. Oops. Oh. All right, hopefully that's better. I lowered the volume quite a bit. Well, now they can hardly hear the game at all. There's no <laughs> there's no appeasing you people, is there? <laughs> Not with the trombone champ. Yikes. A little flat. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's jamming out hard. Perfecto! I am the Grand Toot Master! The Grand Toot Master. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh. That's because it was an easy. Oh, you got an achievement for us, S Apprentice. Excellent. It was definitely uh, an easier track. Didn't ask too much. Yeah, I feel like I have heard that song before. I just didn't. Oh man. Okay. So whoever's having a birthday this month in February, or whoever's birthday I missed in January, this one is dedicated to all you guys out there. I'm gonna play my very best for you guys. The highest note playable on trombones is so high pitched that only certain species of bats can hear it. Ah. Oh. Hmm. This is terrible. <laughs> this is not the version of Happy Birthday I was prepared for. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I just noticed they had lyrics at the bottom. They don't always write. No. This is like the crazy salsa version of Happy Birthday. The ska, man, it's actually what it's called. Oh, is it? Right. Oh, not doing great. Ah. Ah. It's tiring, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit. I think that's why they recommend you using the keyboard for the tuning, because yeah. your finger's not moving as much. <laughs> it's not the happiest birthday but I've ever seen. I didn't want to have to bring a keyboard up here, so. True. Uh, Nicole McKay asked if this game has a story, let alone that one that matches the musical. Uh, the game does have a story. They hinted at it at the beginning about facing baboons and there's a, you know, an evil... I don't know. I, I know AJ looked at it more than I did. There is <laughs> a... There is a story. There's an end boss. There's, like, hidden lore and stuff like that. But the story is nothing like our musical. Our musical is got the baboons and it's got just a guy that's harassing some people. There's a bee still. I guess I said that. that was miserable. <laughs> I didn't like that one very much. Sorry. I meant to give you a happy birthday. We haven't birthday. gotten a C yet, so. No, I thought that was going to be it. I was like, this is the C. Trombone skies, huh? Well, it's going to have a lot of either tears or tears. I'm not sure which. <laughs> Could be a little both. Uh, some fury. Okay. And slides. Not a lot on the dudes and stuff. Low on the dudes scale. Yeah. Let's find out. Tears or tears? Y'all choose right now. The world record for most trombones owned is held by Mike Brass of Omaha, Nebraska. He owns two trombones. Wow. That's great. Excellent. Ooh. Ooh. 
trombone in the sky and it makes you want to fly so high. <laughs> I think this is an original song <laughs> created by <laughs> who knows who. You sure? It sounds familiar. Uh, Neff has a question which I'm pretty sure is uh, loaded because it probably has something to do with her uh, document she keeps. Did AJ and Gwen's characters have any names? Were they themselves <laughs> or generic husband and wife? Uh, I assume this was a case of them being AJ and Gwen. And sort of like the, how... The less pleasant of them. Yeah, sort of like how Granny, the Granny musicals are AJ and Gwen, but not the same AJ and Gwen. Oh! <laughs> This is my jam. This <laughs> is not great. Yeah, sometimes we give them names, but not this time. I feel like we're more likely to give them names if they are, if the characters have names in the musical. Like, that's why in Hungry Lamu they were Ken and Leon yeah. and Tasha. And then we made one up. Like, yeah. Kevin? Something? Butch isn't real. Butch. Butch isn't real. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, let me run the roster of the last musical of last year. Are you saying <laughs> you can't concentrate playing the trombone with someone asking questions? <laughs> like a real trombone. It's so authentic. I don't want to be the sea! <laughs> don't make me be the sea! <laughs> that was quite a two. Come on. Oh, no! That's a B. You got a B. It was not good. Oh, hey! It's oh, hey! A. It's barely that an A. That was not earned. I did not earn an A on All that. Alright, are we switching again? Yeah, or? let's switch again. Right. Yikes. Let's take this back. I, I don't, I'm calling shenanigans. That didn't right, feel like an A. Let's, let's uh, do some tooting. I'm not sure I'd give that a B. Maybe I'm just judging trombone skies too hard. Mars. Mars. Oh, we're coming up on the Sugar Plum Clefairy. It takes over 3,000 tons of brass to produce a single trombone. Wow. That's a lot of brass. That's a ton of brass. So far, it's good. I was like, Mars is an actual song too, right? This is uh, from the planet uh, suite from Holst, I think. Gustav Holst. <laughs> it's probably a good one for trombone too. To be honest, I feel like Holst stuff is. Throw my little band geek knowledge around. That's right, I was in band. I was a band class hero. It's like the triple threat of being like. This is reminding me of like the airships from Mario. Yeah, Party. yeah. I think they're kind of like based on this uh, suite actually. Got the like the gamer dork kid, the theater nerd, and the, the band geek all together wrapped up. The triple threat. Like, no one wants to hang out with you. <laughs> and here I am. And my buddy works with me now. He lives with me and has to deal with me I have every to play day. The trombone. He's a hostage. They all send help. Uh, let's see, how many questions are there missing from you guys? This one is tough because I don't feel like it's super, like, melodious. There's a lot of, like, what is the right note here? <laughs> Ah, we've been told we should pause after the song and trade in some of our toots. And get ourselves some trading cards, maybe? Sure. Yeah. I also happen to know there's such a thing as a toot vessel and a turd vessel. Uh, I'm not sure how to acquire them, but I'm pretty sure they were what were mentioned at the beginning of the lore in this game. The lore was the scary part about making this musical, too. Once we find out how involved uh, the game actually is, it was a lot more intimidating to be like, are we still doing this? Like. How much do we have to get right or include for people to enjoy the song? And for example, the baboon was not always part of the musical. There was a time where it was just going to be Gwen and AJ and a trombone champ. And then after looking at the game, we're like, no, baboons are not just like a funny throwaway like once. And like, so far we haven't seen like any of them today. Like they're pretty, 
<laughs> you gotta get to them later in the game, I think. But they are important to this game, and it felt like we really needed to pay some tribute to the fact that baboons are a part of, of this weird game. You ready to trade in your toots, my friend? Yes, I will trade in my toots. I'm hoping for that S rank. Ah. Okay. So close. All right, so close. we'll go to track select. Toots like burnt bush. Back. Uh, I assume we go back to the menu. Uh, collect, I assume? Welcome to your collection. Play the game and spend them on Tremere. We have... Oh, we can get a sack of four cards. For 40, oh. 499 toots. We have enough toots for that. Sure, let's buy... Yeah. Four sacks. Okay. Right, I think there's enough for five. Oh, nice. Okay. Lots and lots and lots of card attacks. Keep clicking it. You gotta open it. We've got Jay Strauss. Okay. Composer. Uh, Fine fellow. Sadly, his baboon like fish are prevented him from eating hot dogs. Yo, he, he's the fellow, bad one. Guardian spirit, Ash of Zero in the Order of Base and Triple Collapse. Like, he's yeah, the yeah. bad one. We're gonna have to do something with him. Sack butt. I, the uh, sack butt. I found that. I learned that that was a trombone. <laughs> uh, it's Nate's favorite uh, instrument now. Russell Rudd. Roswell Rudd. Roswell Rudd. There you go. Mozart. Mozart. Bach. Great. Bach. This guy. Great. Or girl. Can't tell. Red Eyes Black Baboon. <laughs> they got all the heroes here. Excellent. These are great. Look at all these great cards we have. Uh, is that a duplicate? Do we already have Strauss? I don't think so. Okay. I like how there's a card for the cards. For the yeah. Cards with the John Boner cards. <laughs> Al Gray and a base clef. Yeah, we're gonna have to use some of these cards somehow in like sneaky. Oh, there's a double yeah. strauss. A treble clef. Ooh, very good, very good. Dick Slide Hide. Oh, I like that. He's got like a cool nickname and everything. <laughs> That's a duplicate. Ah. Uh, three strausses, right. man. So we can trade those ones in, I think, for turds. I don't know how to work. Uh, uh, if I click on turds. Uh, this is my collection. Click on a oh, it says yeah. I've got yeah two yeah. of that and three of this. Yeah, just give you an option. Turd card. Yeah, you know, down uh, there. Turd at the, the card. You have more, uh, more than one duplicate. How many would you like to turd? All duplicates. Yeah, yeah. Look at all the turds we got. Okay. That's a good thing. I hope. <laughs> back. I'm not really sure. We got a duplicate of this. We're gonna assume it's a good thing. All right. All right. Uh, question from I have a name. Were the instruments in the musical fully functional? They seem to be. Would you call the instruments fully functional? Yeah, they're fully functional. There was one that we had questions about. Like this is AJ's. It's true. Uh, you're right. They aren't fully functional. I think yeah. that's AJ's tr trumpet from it plays. high school. It still plays. That still plays. There's a monk. Not guy. well. It's because I'm is, playing it. We bought this on, I believe, Amazon. Uh huh. Uh, it plays not well, or not well in my hands. <laughs> Rip headphone users. It really doesn't play quietly. That's one of the things we learned while filming is if Nate played at full volume, you couldn't hear any of the music anymore. So if it was important to hear the music at all, we had to basically have him fake play it. Um, which I'm sure a lot of people have noticed by now. <laughs> it's a lot of fake playing. Uh, and say it should just be able to stand on the horn. Um, the bagpipe at the end. The is... bagpipe. Oh. Yeah, it's a little icy. There you go. Uh, the bagpipe at the end, um, I think we're pretty sure is broken. Um, we bought it uh, online, I think probably from Amazon, as a cheap bagpipe. And me and Gwen were putting it together uh, using tutorials online because the instructions it came with were awful. And we came to the conclusion that we're pretty sure the bag has a hole in it. Uh, like mm. bagpipe bags are not supposed to leak air that's defeats the purpose um and then we looked at the reviews of the bagpipe and people were like this is terrible for actually playing like if you just want something to look like a bagpipe or you want to display a bagpipe somewhere this looks great but don't <laughs> try to play it because it sucks well all bagpipes do so, so, so yeah that thing does not just messing there it are plays some. enough that it screeches like a dying animal but it doesn't so, feels like a real one. <laughs> uh, here's a question from Scott Luigi Pie. Have you played any other instruments before? Is this your 
initiation into playing musical I instruments? I mean, I don't know how to play any musical instruments, but it's mm. definitely not the first instrument that I've ever probably just okay. picked up and tooted on, or like I've mm. probably touched plenty of guitars in my life sure. that people just have. Yeah. But I don't play anything, so. Do we just appreciate the weird pentagram that is the like the uh, chart down here for like toots and doots? In real and life, stuff? there are over nine songs that feature the trombone. Wow. That's a true fact. Now there's 10, because we released one today. That's true. We added to that. Sugar Plum Clefairy, here we go. Y'all know the words. We're singing it together. Like it or not. Late at night, Clefairy does a dance. Use your pants. Rex to prance. These are not the words. <laughs> I'll spare you guys. We'll just enjoy Nate's rendition. It's beautiful. It's terrible. Yes, I, the grace, the dignity, poise of the great sugar plum fairy. <laughs> hey, that was good. I'm sad that they didn't like add lyrics to some of these. There's a reason that this one's not performed with a trombone tradition. That said though, I was thinking and I brought it up. This game, this is not a trombone sample, right? This is way too high. It's almost more like a weird kazoo horn thing. This is like not an authentic trombone. <laughs> oh, I like the dancer. There you go. It's getting all the more regal in here. But yeah, I just thought it was interesting. They don't even use like an actual trombone noise for the trombone play. Maybe they do later though, because you could unlock trombone like sound packs or whatever to change your... You can switch to the bass trombone. Is brass. that an option? There's a brass trombone. Yeah, we should try it. Now you think like Clefairies do. How'd you do? I said it's an A. It's an A. It's an A. It was closing in on that S. You're going for right. the S. Let's go back. We can switch to over here, the, the bass trombone. Nice, okay. Winky Cat wants to know, did you guys have a favorite lyric? And if so, why? This is always a tough one on me. I don't know about yeah. you. But I don't. I don't answer this question well unless I've sat and thought about it. I yeah, have to like I go have to through. Think about it. Yeah. What I can say is one of the ones that I always think about that jumps out is um. Oh boy, what is it? Uh. The the I don't want no trouble, but he's basic. I'm basically convinced that he's completely addicted. That one, for whatever reason, is always stuck in my head, and I think it's because I was excited to try to use treble and bass like that close together in a song like as puns uh and then it got better when we got to say he's completely addicted <laughs> like put i didn't did we put a break or anything no. okay <laughs> so we try to handle that one tastefully and yet it's one of those like situations where you can say something almost inappropriate and then you finish the oh oh the, oh okay i thought you were about to call him a bad word or i thought you were gonna like say something nasty about it. like i think those are fun we did that i remember with uh E3 the musical. Uh, lines that smell like armpit and ass assembled in lines far too long to play or something like that. It, it was a, you know one of those where you split the word in half and you think you're getting one phrase and then you actually get a different one. And you're like, oh, now it's okay to say out loud. <laughs> Wasn't okay before that. So that was an opportunity in this one. What is this? The celebrated Chop Waltz? I'm like, is this one of the, like, hon uh, honky tonk like piano ones? I don't think so. Oh, okay. This is bad. Eh, eh. I think Not it's that bad. I think it's your turn to yeah. do some tooting again, my friend. Yeah. No worse than anything else. Oh, we gotta get your toot on. Get my toot. Gotta get my toot on. Yo, that was all spunk. Look at that graph. This is all spunk here. You had like nothing but spunk in that one. Not sure. Is that, is this control? Oh, it is. You can change how fast it scrolls. All right. It's time. Look at the graph baboons. on this one. Baboons. Baboons, 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 baboons. <laughs> Holy wow. Okay. It's baboon step. That's the genre. Trombones related to the trumpet. They are cousins. There you go. That's why we have a trumpet. And they are sort of like trump, uh, cousins. <laughs> what made you choose to have your character wear glasses? Made me look more pretentious. 
Less fun. The goal was to... Yeah, the goal was to have the characters that AJ and Gwen play look more uh, stuck up and, you know, kind of like boring. There's a reason we didn't have like... You notice their walls have like no decoration on them. Like they're like just really boring kind of people that... I mean, most people would probably be annoyed with the trombone champ after like a few hours as it is. But they're the kind of people that are like immediately annoyed by him. I'd like move the mouse. It was getting like it was just making its way off the table. <laughs> Ooh. Oof. Oh, oh. Oops. That was a dog. <laughs> Cheaters. They don't know what baboons look like at all. Oof. It's not so good. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> you gotta jam with it. It's the way to play. Ah, I got into the swing of it too late. Uh, <laughs> ah, no, no, it's B for baboons. Played right. baboonly. Baboonly. So, had to do what I had to do. Someone said to go into your settings and turn do, baboons do, to do, all do, baboons. Do, do. Okay. <laughs> baboons. Oops. Let's go back again. Let me go all the way back to settings. This settings are where? Right there. Settings. Uh, baboon, baboon quantity. Uh, um, mostest. Mostest. We need the mostest baboons. And all of them. Please, all of the baboons. That'd be great. Okay, I feel better about that. Um, do we have anything else to collect here? Uh, I figure we can come back at what the end this? and get some more. What is baboon? baboon. <laughs> what I don't is, know. Now that we have... Some, some sort of vessel? Nope. Can't open that yet. Alright, so baboons means nothing yet. Or but maybe yes, it does and we don't know. I believe that's one of the vessels that we're supposed to do same with. We'll come back at the end and uh, spend the rest of our cards. Hey, did the bass trombone sound different? It sounds a little different, but okay. not much. Yeah, we have to unlock more. These are a lot of songs, actually, for being like just a little indie game. And this is a one-star difficulty, so I have no excuse now. Tears, spunk, doots, and slides. Not a lot of theory, though. Uh, the first part of the film is a song is from 2001 Space Odyssey. Hey! So it's probably the one that's like, ah, probably. Bah, bah. Trombone is called Trombone. Trombone. That seems accurate. That's how the English spell things. I've been there. I've seen. That's right. But use on every. This is very fast. <laughs> Wait, isn't that the. Da -da. Da -da. Nope. Oh, there it is. Wow, they made me wait. They said you need to get S ranks on. The songs to open stuff. Yes. No, I'm not gonna get those. Four <laughs> S's. Yikes. Not Yikes. all S's. Dun -dun. Dun -dun. I do feel like the dun dun's very delayed on this. I think they're doing it on purpose. They wanna like psych you out. <laughs> I like it with the timpani now too. This is when they introduced Mega Maid and Spaceballs. Boom, boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. Da -da. <laughs> Where is it? Now it's coming. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the most beautiful. It's tears coming to my eyes. It's just so beautiful. That was it, huh? I mean, it was pretty simple. <laughs> you went way past the S. That's two of the S's we need, apparently, to open a lot. Hey, good. All right. Go for it. Play another. I'm on hot streak because they gave me the easy ones. Long tail. Oh, boy. That doesn't sound great, does it? It's electronic. Uh, the legendary Maximal Max Tundra. Sounds like a Bond villain. Max Tundra. Max Tundra. Some claim that Mozart's last words before dying were, at least I got to use a trombone. Hmm? Huh? 
Did he? I bet yeah. that was yes. True facts. The facts here are all facts, no printing. That's beautiful. There we go. <laughs> this is a ooh, this song. Ooh, meh. Don't you mad at me? I'm doing my best, okay? <laughs> this is a fun one. It's cute. <laughs> oh, I lost oh, it. Oh, you lost your champ bonus. Bummer. Didn't hardly last. But that one was, like, spot on. That one was less, so. Oops. Mm. I just dropped. Not, not my finest. I never learned the trombone, I'm afraid. This is as close as I'll ever get. Ah. Oh man. It's gotta be a C, right? CBL has a nice joke. Do you wanna hear it? Sure. Oh, I'm so it's, close. If you hear Mozart symphonies backwards near his grave, don't worry. He's just decomposing. <laughs> decomposing. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. It's gross. Decomposing. It's just gross. Decom <laughs> All right. You wanna play uh, the entertainer sure. here? Let's do it. The entertainer. Alrighty. Alright, like entertainer. Little... Give me a. Oh! <laughs> Why does this guy get the one star right. one and I get the like a million stars? Pick the right time. Yeah, why don't you. A professional uh... trombone can cost over $2 billion. No, it doesn't. Lies. Just don't think so. Look in his eyes when he plays. Well, I notice he blinks. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's great. Oh, you guys are being so generous. Acting like we're not making your ears bleed. <laughs> I know the truth, though. It's gonna have to go. Get medical attention after this as well. <laughs> ah, That's sounds like terrible. The, the pipes in Majora's Mask. Interesting. Da 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 da. Blah 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 blah. It's great. I like that you also your character aims up and down as they're trying to play higher or lower. Which is not a thing, like, there's no real good reason to do it. I think it's more for, like, if you're trying to be quiet, you'll play down, and if you're trying to belt it, you'll go up. But that's not necessarily, like, the volume. That sucked. <laughs> you did that's, not like that? That's the first C. No, man, it's a B. It's a B! Ugh, it's barely Woo! a B. That's barely that's a B. That's, like, exactly B status. B for butts. It sounded like butts. Uh, it was, Full of tooth that came from butts. terrible. Can this one not be... Jim the skip pig. to my Lou. Skip. Martian skip, kill skip to my Lou. These are an interesting selection of songs. How many, how many songs? We have two of oh, our. Oh, we have S's. to play this because it was played in the musical. Yeah, we should play that. But this is over da, by the. Da, da, wow, da, that's. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's not gonna be fun. Let's play taps. To this day, scientists don't really know how a trombone makes sound. Um, not accurate. Was I saying the wrong thing? Because the one I'm thinking of is... Da, 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 oh, da, 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 I was not paying da, da, da. attention. Yeah, it's not a great start for you. <laughs> it's okay. It's so respectful. It's very... It's dignified. So many people would be weeping at the beauty of this one. You know, you're trying hard. The question is, is this the end? Is that it? I think so. It shows, wow. you, the time of the, it shows you the length of the song. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, like, there's not much to that one. An ass! Oh, really? Oh, we're gonna do that again. Because oh. I messed up you at the beginning the by not paying notes. attention. I was checking my phone for the time because that time's not right. Ah, uh, yeah. It's. And you can get an S on this one, I'm pretty sure. That's a perfecto. Perfecto. Question What is your favorite game genre? Personally, I like rhythm games. That's a question from Night Creeper 4. Favorite genre? Uh, I'm not usually into rhythm games. Probably because they sound like this. <laughs> um, but this one is fun. And I like Dance Dance Revolution as a rhythm game. Because uh, I like footwork stuff. I have some dance background stuff. Things like that. Just an active person that way. Um, favorite genre, though? I don't know. Hard to say. I think old school platforming. Probably. I really like, I don't know like if that Super was Mario. Better. I think it was. It's a, no. It was worse. What? How is that worse? I don't know. I'm confused. Right, one more. One more. We're gonna play. We're gonna, we're, we're, one more time. I'm gonna not one more do time. terrible. I'm gonna do terrible. I'm always bad. Did you say platforming is your favorite game uh, genre as well? Probably action. Action games. There you go. Perfecto. Mm. Stuff like action adventure. God of War kind of game. I was going to say. That was... <laughs> I'm trying to give you all the focus you can. I'm going to do terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. You did great. If I was scoring you, I would give you an S. For... Alright, I think that's high Stupendous. enough. We had previous 248, that's 253. I think that's going to push us over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. It's an S. Alright, one more S. And then we have what we need for one more S. monkey. Uh, let's find an easy song then. Are you ready? Stars and Stripes, Scoffered, Beethoven's Fifth, God Save the King is only two stars. <laughs> oh, Canada's only three. Ode to Joy. There's a lot of songs. Oh, I am currently sobbing in my chair because of the beauty of your combo. Right, if we get points. another ass, Ode to Joy is only two stars. So let's do Ode to Joy. The spit coming out of the trombone is nice. Ignore the blood coming from my ears. Yikes. I am so sorry for what we've done to you all today. This is that song from Die Hard. It's in Die Hard. That's how we know it. You're doing a great job. This is, uh, it's pretty low, though. I feel like they're gonna, like, make you burst out the top at some point. Because you're, like, only using the bottom half still. Okay, I'll leave here soon. It's so beautiful. Ah, on the topic of rhythm games, says Link Stig. Rhythm Thief the Musical is one of my favorite of your musicals. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. We had fun making that one, too. It's a throwback. There it is! Knew you were gonna, like, poof! Out the roof here. It's heavenly. The angelic sounds of a beautiful trombone taking flight above the orchestra. It's certainly not wiggling all over the place trying to find the right pitch. Certainly not that. <laughs> this is the S we needed. S, give us the S. Do you need to give us an S? Yeah, uh, awesome destroyer. We thought that uh, Gwen was going to be really important and key to us being able to succeed in this game. In fact, we we're going to make her play even. Um, I'm so sad that we lost out on that experience, Woo! but I'm proud. I think we're doing okay, even without. Wow! Oh, I'm excellent at Ode to wow! Joy. Wow! That is yeah. It's actually pretty easy. You did great. Uh, so we have four S's. Somebody claimed that four S's is enough to All open right. something. Let's find out Let's if see Baboon if that's does true. something now. Baboon. Hey, Baboon. Are you home? Can we open your weird little door? Open the baboon. Yeah, we have four S's on the sides. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh, you have to click those. Well, all the same, we had to do it. Baboon. Keep diving. 
We gotta like wake him up. There he is. Sorry. Hark, Toot Master. Hark. There he is. Art thou the one who hath been a knocking on my little hatch? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Your little hatch. Ah, thou art truthful. That is goodeth. Is a knocking not what hatches are for, after all? It's true. I seeketh the trombone champ. Is thine wish to become? Is it thine yes. wish to become the trombone champ? Yes. Sure. Sure. Uh, why not? Oh, that is good news. Allow with me to introduce myself. I am the primordial baboon Toot Seeker Tom. Toot Seeker Tom. Allow me to show you something. Yes, please show us something. Feast thy eyes upon the toot vessel. The toot vessel. What is this? What is it for? How does this affect my life personally? <laughs> These are questions for which I have long since forgotten the answers. Oh no. Uh oh. My bad. So, but I do recall it. The toot vessel requires toots. Feed it toots and the cleft shall awaken. Feed the toots. That's why it's called the toot vessel, you see. It is literally a vessel for toots. Anyways, <laughs> fill the so vessel much. with toots so that the treble cleft may awaken. Yes, do it. Feed some toots. I have enough toots to awaken. Do it. Do it. Do I? Yeah. Feed them toots. I have my toots. Woo! Look at all those toots. It's been properly fed. The toot vessel awakens! Huh? <gasps> what happens now? What does that mean? Oh, we got a chest. <gasps> click that chest! Click it! Click the chest! Oh, click it! Just ah! keep clicking! Click, ah! <laughs> click the ever-loving chest out of that chest! Do it! Oh man, all these toots have unleashed. You played the video game a lot and unlocked a thing. Character, polygon. A polygon character. Okay, sweet. And now we need ah, more Ah, so the chest of treasure popped out. Fascinating. However, I feel there's more hidden within that vessel. Yeah. <laughs> I am certain that the toot vessel can be further awakened. Oh, man. Fill the vessel with toots so that the troll cuff may awaken. That is a lot of toots. We don't have that do. many toots. No, no. We just don't. <laughs> we should go spend some more toots, though. On some more cards? I yeah, mean, you I could save them for... I, I mean, we're not coming back to this game, so... Probably not. Uh, Does make me sad, though. Gwen didn't get a chance to experience it. Well, she can experience it. it when she comes back. We'll play it in our free time. Free time? We have free time. We're going to get two you of them. Guys have free time. Oh, uh, give me some good cards. We got a hot dog. A hot dog. That is not a, a mouthpiece. Thing. Then more Bach. Uh, the red-eyed black baboon again. Okay. All right. Stravinsky, another hot dog. More a room. trumpet, the coward's trombone. Hey. Rimsky, Korsakov. <laughs> that's not even an accurate trumpet. That's you really got not it wrong. A trumpet Click like. the bottom right. Keep doing. There you go. Oh, another secret good. lore thing. Greetings, noble tromboner. Thank you for summoning me. I didn't mean to. I was just a little too Might told you as well. Maybe some things are best kept secret for now. I'll assume you summoned me on purpose and weren't just mindlessly clicking the chaos candle. Of course. Well, let's say you, noble tromboner. Greetings! Oh, and the inquisitive soul would find me here. Do you seek to become the trombone champ? Oh, uh, sure yes. do. All Buddy, about it. do you really know what a trombone champ is? Y yes. <laughs> oh, are you just saying what you think I want to hear, or are you for real? <laughs> Maybe it doesn't matter. The baboons will show you the way. Yes. I can help you become the trombone champ, but I need magic to do so. And my magic requires sacrificing trombone cards. Hey, we have those. Why does my magic require you to sacrifice trombone cards, you ask? It's best not to ask these questions. Oh. Just go with the flow. Okay. So will you agree to help me? Oh, yes. yeah. You bet. Ah, ha, ha. Yes, yes, yes. We have no I use currently time. require one Reb, Rabbi Baboon, one Rama Ding Dong, and one Artie. Can you give me these cards? Mm, I can't. I only don't have this guy, so. Nope, sorry. Ah. Uh, this saddens me. If you change your mind, summon me again. Bye. Yeah, we would. I'm so sorry. Well, I guess I won't turn that uh, missing Red Eye Bamboon though. into some turds. Yeah. So now that I know this guy's here, maybe I shouldn't turn things into. What are turds for? Do we know yet? The turd vessel, obviously. Oh, right. Right, Obviously, vessel. you're gonna need a turret well, vessel. I it's believe. 557, so. Yeah. We, tell you what, play like one more, gain a little more toots. One more, one yeah, more. Song. Give us one more beautiful rendition today. Uh, let's be this guy again. Yeah, why not? If anybody has any last questions they want to ask about the music that came out today. I think we end this with. Uh, oh, you want to be patriotic? Well, we could do William Tell. We can do the Star Spangled Banner. We can oh. do Oh Canada. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very patriotic for us. For Canada. Huh. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you what to do. So. Is it William Tell? <laughs> we should do this because we live near the musical road, and this is going to be awful. 34 countries have outlawed the use of trombone, and six <laughs> countries playing trombone is punishable by death. In some countries, playing trombone is what causes death. <laughs> Leading cause of death in these waters. You're listening to trombone. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs>
Beautiful. William Tell would be so moved to hear you play his great overture. Here comes. This is not the way I remember it. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> the dudes are real. <laughs> you know, I've seen mods of some songs. And uh, I actually would really be interested to see like an expansion to this game with even more music. And I mean, there, there are mods. If the devs ever, you know, want to release a second one. I've seen people playing Careless Whisper. Oh yeah. I can think of a good trombone song from the internet that came out today that they could consider including if they ever felt like it. You know, it's got some pretty good trombone improv sections as well. Just saying. It's bad. Yikes. I have a name wants to know. Do you have a favorite song from this game so far? The Baboon song was kind of a banger. I'm not going to lie. It's been a little hard to hear them because uh, we keep our volume down. So I'm going to have to go look these back up later. Maybe watch someone play them properly. But that one was pretty good. Also, Trombone Skies. That was also pretty good, but like I said, it still seems weirdly like a rip off something else. I have to look into that. I don't listen to enough music, obviously. Uh, let's see. Nice that I got Champ right in time to lose it. Yeah, right? <laughs> Love that. <laughs> the Toot Wrestle. I'm glad that we actually found some of the little lore things. Just introduced to the chat, you know, today. Oh, uh, that was bad. But you can see this game is a lot deeper than what our musical was able to do with it. Uh, and that's just, we made up our minds to try to do something simple. We thought Trombone Champ was a good way of doing that. Then we learned that it was a little less simple than we thought, but we decided to keep it basic and focus on our version of a story for Trombone Champ, um, which I was happy with. So if you haven't seen it yet, I would recommend you maybe go take a look at it. Are we ready to uh, wrap up our chat I today? I think we're ready to... Oh, oh, my foot fell asleep. Oof. Yikes. Uh, oof. This is what happens when you like stand on a table. Yeah, for a it's chat. not the greatest setup, but it worked. It worked. Yeah, and we were able to play. We played. Mostly okay. We, we did tolerably. Okay. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for joining us today. I think next week we might have a comments live stream here on Replayed at five o'clock. So we'll give you a chance to vote on something, um, and we'll find out what we're going to be reading comments about. Is that what we agreed on? Uh, I think that is one of the things we have coming up. I think we've okay. talked about. Um, Potentially returning to Choo Choo Charles as well. That's true. So We did enjoy that a lot. I don't know when that'll happen, but it's... It's weird. We've only played two games on replay this year so far. That's true. <laughs> Usually we would have done a gaming every week, and since starting again this year, we've been trying to do some other more fun activities. and Not more fun, but other fun activities. activities. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, hit the like button. Let YouTube know that... We showed up. We were here playing music with you guys, hanging out for a bit. And if you missed the musical somehow, um, which I wouldn't be surprised about, YouTube is not doing us any favors sending out those notifications these days. But go take a look. And do us a favor. Maybe watch one or two other musicals while you're over on Random Encounters. Because there's 155 others. I counted. I keep that. What? Or is it 156 others even? Uh, I'd have to go check I Twitter. I, I, keep keep a, I keep a running count on that at this point on Twitter. Um, and I let everybody know what number we're up to. Um, I'm trying to remember if that includes individual nights of FNAF or if that's like the supercut is one of the musicals. I'm not sure. I think it might be. I think we based on the battle royale when we did the counting. Uh, either way, so there's a lot. There's a ton. And if you haven't sat and watched 150 Random Encounters musicals in your life, maybe today's the day. Who knows? <laughs> Why not? You listen to Trombone Champ for a while. You can handle anything now. Um, but yeah, thanks again. If you want to buy merch uh, from Random Encounters, you can find the link in the description along with our Patreon page. Um, which I also was talking about doing a little Patreon concert at some point with, with pay, uh, pay, Patreon people. <laughs> the Patreon people. The Patreon encounters and I were talking about instruments today. And it was shocking how many of them play instruments. And we're like, I'd love to learn some random encounter songs on this instrument. Or I've been practicing mm. this. Um, and we talked about maybe doing like a little Discord concert at some point. And I said I'd have a meeting with you and Gwen at some point and be like, maybe that's a thing we could do. And let people like show off or send in videos of like what they're capable of. It could be fun. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you can find all that stuff in the description below. And that's it. Stay tuned for bloopers on RE Extra next Friday uh, because there's a few of them. We didn't even include one at the end of the musical this time. But there, it's not because there weren't enough to choose from. There were a bunch of them. They were all kind of longer bloopers because once you start messing up, you just roll with it sometimes. And all these bloopers were like 
just go with it just keep going just keep the camera rolling it's, it just gets funnier the longer it goes so um yeah we'll see you guys next friday okay beard salute